Uh, we're farming at uh, Mataranga, uh, which is 100 kilometres south of Catherine or 450 kilometres south of Darwin, the Northern Territory. We're supplying melon to the, in the Australian market all around Australia from May through to about November from this farm. Then we head across to the top of um, Queensland. We move down the coast, down into Bundaberg, then across here in Chinchilla. Do the, we do the um, summer out of Chinchilla and then out of the middle of New South Wales. We begin planting in February. Uh, we plant every week for about 25 weeks, which means that we are picking from May through till November. So we're picking for five or six months of the year off of this farm. Select Mountain started out as, as a cooperative and then um, We've, we've now gone into to a more of a, a structured company sort of way. If we can supply a consistent product for 12 months of the year, which I can't do myself personally, we felt that we'd be in a lot better position as farmers. It's a very high risk crop to grow. There's no two words about that. You know, when, when you're playing your, your 50 to 60 cents a seedling, and if you know it's costing you 30 cents a metre plastic and trickle, and just all them costs are just mind blowing. And then you're fertilising, you're spraying, and then even just to pick and pack, it just, the cost is astronomical. The Harvest Company's been supplying Woolworths for over 30 years now. We're a consumer focused business, and as a result of that, we've got a very strong eye on what the consumers are doing. And we're seeing a lot of evidence that consumers are interested in the sustainability of the products that they, they consume. The idea of this project come out of just growers standing around and just saying that we knew this carbon um, footprint idea was it was going to come to us eventually and we'd always wondered you know what what actually was our carbon footprint nobody really knew it we never measured it we'd all had ideas but until you get out and actually sit down and do the sums measure it we had no idea what our carbon footprint is going to be our role in this particular project is to coordinate with our growers a full assessment of the carbon and energy usage uh, in their production and supply chain systems so that we get a bit of understanding of what our current position is um, with a view to looking at areas for improvement. We've gone through all our cost, we've gone through the whole cycle of when we plan to when we plant, how we plant. It's going to be interesting to see the difference between the three farms that we're looking at. Having a sustainable supply chain means our growers stay in business over the long haul and enables those consumers a ongoing source of Australian grown quality produce. As a group of growers we're only as strong as our weakest link and if we can get everybody up and all of us are making a good profit and we're all sustainable like we've got a future like we could all have our kids growing these melons in another 10, 15, 20 years time and still all working together and um, you know that that'd be a real success story I think.